Hi everyone, it's Yolanda. So I am sorry that I'm a day late with this video. I purposed in my heart to upload every other Friday and this week has been a doozy and I just never got an opportunity to film um, in peace or with enough light or anything. So I'm only a day late. Um, I will try my hardest to adhere to the every other Friday. All right, in this video, it's gonna be short and sweet, and I have a feeling that the rest of them will be as well because I'm just going to be reading you the 10 questions from the Flow Magazine, and then reading, um, answering one of the questions from my journal to you guys, okay? So if you haven't um, seen the first video, I will link it down below. I suggest you go check it out if you're interested in following along with us. Um, if not, then just jump in with question 11 and feel free to come along with the ride. So this is the Flow Magazine that I'm talking about. I've shown it before, talked about it, explained it. Um, it's issue number 12. I don't know the date. I don't want to look for it, but it's issue number 12. And I am going to read aloud the questions. And I have to keep my glasses on because I can't see without them. I mean, I can see without them, but I can't read without them. All right, question number 11. Which past friendship do you miss? Question number 12, what would you most like to buy? Question number 13, what character trait would you like to have? Question number 14, what's your favorite thing to watch on television? Number 15, when did you last go to a theme park? 16, to what age would you like to live? 17, which holiday do you think back on most nostalgically? Number 18, how does heartbreak feel for you? Number 19, would you rather have another name? And number 20, what has made you doubt yourself? Ooh, okay, some of those questions, I wanna tell you about three of them were a little personal, a little harder to answer, and like they make you self-reflect. So I will type them down below so you can copy and paste and print them or however, if you're handwriting them, whatever it is that you wanna do, but I will type them down below. And I was trying to decide which one I was going to read. I decided on number, number 17. Which holiday do you think back on most nostalgically? Um, I answered this on September 28th, 16, 2016, and it reads, the Easter Sundays spent at Annette and Kenny's. We would all be together and have so much fun. The confetti eggs were the best. So uh, Annette is my sister-in-law, my husband's sister, and Kenny um, is her husband. Well, Kenny passed away about 10 years ago. And now that I'm reading this, I realize that since Kenny passed, Easter has not ever been celebrated the same since it just hasn't. It's just, Easter was Annette's holiday. Like we like to say in our family that we tap tapped it. That means like I've got dibs on it. So that was Annette's tap tapped holiday. And um, we would have uh, so much food and fellowship with family. It was just all siblings. So all my husband's siblings and all, all of our children. We would have tons of food. We would have, we would be watching TV and laughing or playing games. And then we would hide confetti eggs. We never did hard boiled eggs. We only did confetti eggs. And out of six siblings, every, well, it, of the six siblings, each family brought at least a minimum of 10 dozen confetti eggs. So you can imagine how many that was. And um, Kenny never minded that there was confetti all over his yard, in his house, in the front yard. It was the best. And I just remember him um, at the end when we were all done and shells were everywhere, he would just go get his lawn blower or whatever you call them and just clean up and we'd all help. And it was the best, the best resurrection Sundays. So that's my answer. And um, I hope you guys are enjoying this. And um, like I said, I'll be back in two more weeks with the next 10 questions. Uh, I haven't answered every comment from the first video. I'm working on it. I'm really sorry. I've just been really busy. And um, if you have any questions or you just want to know something, pop it down below. And I promise to get to it sooner rather than later. So thanks for watching. And um, until the next 10, I'll see ya. Bye.